known for its indigenous forests, hilly terrain and peculiar stones, Vihiga County in the western region of Kenya has undergone tremendous transformations since the inception of devolution. We have also done one major milestone since I got into office and this milestone is the preparation of the county integrated development plan. This is a great milestone by the county government whose leadership is not just about glorious crowning acts but also empowering the people of Vihiga County. We have this plan actually incorporates uh, my manifesto. Uh, it's a plan that uh, has been um, well articulated through public participation in the 25 uh, wards of the Vihiga County. Vihiga has small pieces of land and people grow maize and beans. We are saying no, we want to change the way of doing agriculture so that we make agriculture as a business rather than a subsistence exercise. Agriculture as we are aware is a devolved function and uh, Vihika County has really benefited from the devolved function of agriculture. Food security is our key area. That is, that is the hallmark of what we are doing in this country. We want to reduce food insecurity amongst our, our people. Through the Minister of Agriculture, we are um, in the process of forming groups, uh, youth groups, women groups, whom we are training on various skills. We have managed to empower our farmers. The resource poor farmers have been supported through provision of both top planting fertilizer and top pressing fertilizers. We have also been giving them certified seeds for maize planting and other horticultural crops. The farmers have also benefited from supply of live animals, particularly dairy cows and also the pigs uh, and the dairy goats. We have also given them dairy goats. This has also improved their farming levels in terms of uh, food production and also uh, incomes to the households. We are already in the process of working with the Kenya Genetic Institute in Nairobi. They will be giving us semen for artificial insemination. We want to convert this local zebu cattle into, into a, a hybrid. So they will bring us uh, semen that is of either jersey or gansey and um, we will have to have artificial insemination and after that we'll have now, we shall have upgraded the local animals to become a little bit middle, uh, a middle hybrid and that will increase our milk production. We have also managed to support angry business and value addition, particularly in the dairy sector. Uh, we have helped, uh, managed to support the dairy sector to be able to, to do value addition of their milk products. Milk, we get it from Nandi. We want to get value addition. We are in the process of, we shall be soon in the course of the year, buy coolers so that we cool the milk and be able to do value addition. We are also concerned that uh, most of our horticultural products are, uh, we source them from our neighboring countries and we are trying to turn around and that's why we are getting into vegetable farming, French bean farming, we are also focusing on this this time around and want to revive the French bean farming to be what it was many years ago. Right now the Meru Greens Limited, we are entering an agreement with them. They are now we are going to reintroduce growing of French beans here. We are also uh, focusing on the tradition of vegetables for home consumption and for out, uh, outside consumption. So these are the areas that we feel that if we, we revamp them and support them, then we shall be able to move the sector into a, into a more vibrant sector than, than what it is. Vihiga, everywhere you go, you cannot go beyond a half a kilometer without getting water. We have so many valleys. 
we have decided that we are going to go into fish farming. As I am talking now, we decided the first thing to do is to build up a hatchery. We are supporting fish meal uh, production, in, in particular in the Luanda area, where we are supporting them to come up. We also have the, the Mutoho farm, which is the center of production of our fingerlings to give it to the farmers. This is something that we are really working on and we are visualizing in the, in the coming four months we shall be able to produce a lot of fingerlings to supply to the entire county and beyond so that more of our fish farmers are able to, to be empowered to produce more fish to the local and the external market. We grow fish from the fingerling size we call it which is about 1.5 grams and within a given period, if it's done properly, we are able to produce table-sized fish. Before devolution, it wasn't very easy to access technical support, extension services, but today it's readily available, of course, we say on demand. So it is up to me as a farmer to reach out to the county fisheries directorate for assistance as and when I feel I need. But there are times also they visit the farm for extension services. People now want to eat health food. People are running away from eating meat. People want now white meat. So fish is there. Before devolution, extension services had really gone down. The staff farmer ratio had reached re as high as one to 2,500 farmers, which was almost impossible to have an effective extension service. After devolution, we have employed new staff, we have contracted others, and we have put, pulled down that farmer staff ratio to almost one to 500. We have the adequate capacity and we are going to build even bigger capacity in the coming years so that we can be able to reach our farmers and be able to, to train them on the new skills, new technologies that are coming. Agriculture is not devolved. We have to do the extension services now, our agricultural extension services. Unapata wana kutembelea, badala ya sisi kwenda kwao, ofisini kwao, unapata wana kutembelea kwenye farm yetu. Kama tuna maugonjwa, outbreak ya diseases, kama imetokea, unapata wanatupa mawaidha. Sababu tunakutana na wakulima wengi, pia wanatufunza, ndipoza zizi tunanza kufunza wale wakulima ambao wanachukua vifaranga kutoka kwetu. Department of Trade, Industry, Tourism and Entrepreneurship has significantly grown in the last year. The biggest achievement of the department in the area of trade is where the county government has established the Higa County Community Empowerment Fund, aimed at benefiting the marginalized women, youth and small-scale traders. We want to start uh, training our youths in entrepreneurship so that they can start doing business. Kiangalia kama wizara ya biashara inapatiana loans kwa vikundi enterprise fund. So unapata hizo vikundi baada ya kupata loans wanakuja wengi vikundi hivyo vingi huja kununua vifaranga kwetu. Before devolution most of the traders were unable to access financing from uh, national government and the amount of uh, finances uh, before devolution that was sent to Vihiga through the joint uh, loans board were less than four million for traders who are totaling at least 15,000. But uh, with the coming up of devolution, we are able to upscale the financing. And uh, right now we are doing over 100 million for financing to enable traders be able to add capital within their different businesses. Right now, within the county, we only have a um, Mdete tea factory, but uh, we are able to tap into the other untapped resources that were there, like uh, granite industry, which is likely to come up within the next uh, few months. 
most of Mwaya and Hamiz has so many stones, granites. And for your information, these stones are carried by Earth River mining from here to Earth River, where they are processed into slabs. We are very privileged of having one of the best facilities in Vega County. The county government then recognized our potential and began supporting us. A lot of seminars, a lot of workshops were brought in because of the evolution. From a staff complement, we are about seven people. Right now, we have a staff complement of about 50 people who we directly employ. From a turnover of about 7 million a year, the turnover now is close to 60 million a year. Within the tourism sector, which has not been fully exploited within uh, Vihiga County, we can say with the coming up of devolution, we're able to open up and showcase to the country which other tourism potentials are within Vihiga. We have made proposals to the county government to develop Maragul Hills, make it a tourist site by having hiking trails, by putting up a conference facility there. We also made proposals to have a public-private partnership in developing a golf course. And they are considering it. We are setting up an economic uh, processing zone within Kaimosi, which will uh, improve and uh, increase the number of industries within uh, the county. Devolution is the best thing that ever happened to this country. We now focus mostly on how best we can service the counties because we believe that is where the potential is. Steady and progressive development has been the highlight of the great county of Vihiga. The numerous awards are everything to prove. We are also in the process of entering into an agreement with EPZ. We have already acquired land in, Kaka, in Kaimozi and EPZ are going to come and build for us an uh, industrial park. These are areas where people will be able to establish small and medium scale enterprises.